former Miss Ohio and Oscar winner Halle Berry has been blessed with more than anyone's fair share of looks and talent. But she's also had to endure some hard knocks. Born to an African-American father and an English mother, her parents split when she was four and Halle was brought up by her mother. All was going well when she was cast in the short-lived television series Living Dolls. But during the taping of one episode, she suddenly collapsed and fell into a coma. She woke up to the news that she had adult onset diabetes. Ever since, she's had to take her blood sugar levels daily and has followed a rigorous no sugar diet. Her mixed race heritage has also been a major challenge for Hallie, who often uses her public appearances to campaign against racism. And living in America and being a woman of color, I, I, I have felt victimized by some of those same laws that you know immigrants feel victimized um, by as well. So I am. You know, I'm not always a supporter of my government. Becoming the first black woman to win a leading actress Oscar for Monsters Ball in 2001, she achieved a feat that she never dreamed possible in her lifetime. Next, she signed up to play Bond girl Jinx in the James Bond movie Die Another Day. <clears throat> Over the years, I have noticed that sometimes, especially women that win Oscars, they get what's called sort of the Oscar curse. They win an Oscar and then they sort of fall off into obscurity and you don't hear from them anymore. But despite her best efforts to stave off the curse, her next two leading roles earned her terrible reviews, with her 2004 turn as Catwoman winning her a Golden Raspberry Award for Worst Actress. She turned up to the ceremony to accept the dishonor with great grace, imitating her emotional response to winning the Oscar three years earlier. She's also had it rough on the relationship front. In 1992, she married baseball player David Justice, and when they divorced in 1996, Hallie was reportedly so distraught she considered committing suicide. She seemed to have found love again with singer Eric Benet, but after he allegedly cheated on Hallie numerous times, they separated in 2004, with friends claiming that Eric was demanding insane amounts of money in the divorce. Hallie has since insisted that she will never marry again.